Okay. Well, we're going to get started right about now. And um, my name is Richard, and I'm going to be your guide for the day. And uh, you're in the right place if you're a overworked, stressed out, busy professional, and you don't have much time, and you want to get a quick workout to calm your mind, to strengthen your body, to improve your flexibility, all in the comfort of your home with no gym equipment. And we do it really fast. This whole process is going to be like 20 minutes a day. And if you like this, after we're done with the work, the complimentary workshop today, I have an offer for you for a complimentary uh, for our for our complimentary uh, weekly email list or or text message where you get you get you get a, wor a workout every week. And um, this workout would be the email to you or text it to you. And um, the first month is totally complimentary, and each workout is like 20 to 30 minutes long. And uh, you can do it once a week, twice a week, or seven days a week. Um, and, and I find that yoga workouts and breathwork meditations are the most efficient and effective way to get into the most optimal shape, mind and body. Okay, so that's enough talking. Let's get ready to rock and roll. Okay. Okay, let's start off on your uh, standing up like so. And let's just do like this nice circles with the arms just trying to open up the chest good and we're going to do some crawls crawl forward crawl backwards just keep on crawling And so what we do is like a combination of like animal primal movements with traditional yoga exercises and functional movement patterns to help just optimize your body, just get the body right, you know, improve the flexibility, improve the mobility and strengthen and tone and burn fat so you get the best of all worlds. Good. And all fours, hands and knees like so. Good. Right arm forward, left leg back. Then chain sides. Then chain sides. Keep on changing. Try to get your spine really straight. And let's just hold it. Then chain sides. Good, and we do side crawls, crawling sideways. And good, back to all fours, hands and knees, left leg back, right arm forward, and hold it. Now bend the left knee right, bend the right elbow right into the chest. Come back out, touch, and then just hold it here near the chest. Squeeze the core really tight. Good, chain sides, left arm, right leg back. Bring it right into the chest or toward the chest. And just hold it. Hey. Good, and all fours, hands and knees. Now stay here and just lift your knees up two inches off the mat and then rock back and forth just like this. Keeping the knees low. And if you can't do this, you can just drop your knees down and go back and forth. And that's the great thing about our workout system is for all levels. So we, I'll give you modifications. So if, if you can't do the more advanced stuff, you can still keep up. Good, and maybe you go like this, right leg steps forward, right hand up, twist, come back, keep on changing. And then we come into that downward facing dog. Get up, bend your knees, 
Step the right foot forward, step the left foot forward, look halfway up, fall down, come all the way up. And back to your circles again. Just open up the chest, open up the shoulders. You just feel a lot more loose this time. Lead with your chest, come all the way forward. Lift up, right leg back, left leg back. Go through your flow, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, step the left foot forward, step the right foot forward, look halfway up, fold down, come all the way up, hands to your chest, back to those circles, opening up the chest even more. Then you just lean all the way forward, lift up, step back with the left, step back with the right, and let's just hold the plank position. Let's hold this push-up position like so. Try to get your body really straight from the top of your head to the bottom of your heels. If you can't do that, drop your knees down. Either or is an option. And if this is too easy for you, maybe you want to pick your left leg up in the right hand. You're just holding here. If this is easy for you, you can bring the right knee and left elbow together like we were doing before. And then maybe you can hold it. And then you put it down. Other side. And remember, you can just hold the push-up position. You don't have to do this. And then you come all the way through your flow. Downward facing dog. Bring the right knee to the nose. Hold it. Step the right foot forward. Come into what they call warrior one. Extend the left arm forward to straighten your body up. Hands to the chest, open up, warrior two. Lean back into reverse warrior. And then bring your right forearm to here, left hand over your head and open up the chest. Now put your right hand on your ankle or maybe above your ankle and just straighten the right leg out into a triangle. And then let it go all the way down. Go through your flow. Come back to push-up position. And you got 10 push-ups here. You can do them like this or you can do them on your knees. Either or is fine. And then downward facing dog. Push your position, left knee to the nose, hold it. Good, step the left foot forward, warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Side angle. Put the left hand down. Triangle pose. And then let it go. Go through your flow and add some push ups. 10 reps here. And downward facing dog. Push up position, right knee to the nose, hold it. Step the right foot forward, warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse. Side angle. Triangle. Now stay in triangle. Maybe you can come for that half moon. And it's, it's like this. 
Your right hand comes to the side, left hand up in the air. Then you let it go, go through your flow, and then you come into forearm plank, and you're just holding. Tucking your chin in. Come back to downward facing dog. Push-up position, left knee to the nose, hold it. Step the left foot forward, warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse it. Side angle. Triangle. And if you want to, if you don't, if you want to keep on going, come into half moon or just stay where you're at in triangle. And then let it go. Chaturanga, as they call it, or flow. Forearm plank again. Maybe you want to pick your left foot up an inch and maybe right hand forward and hold. Then change sides. And then come into Sphinx pose right here and just hold it. Then what they call child's pose right here. Good, go ahead and sit on your butt. Lift your butt up and down for bridge and just hold it. And then come on down, come into what they call happy baby. Okay, good. Stay in the bridge or you can do the figure four bridge on one leg like this and just hold it. And if you did the figure four single leg bridge, chain sides. And then come on down, bring your knees into your chest, back to that happy baby. Legs up in the air, arms up in the air, dead bug. Okay, left leg straight, bring your right knee to your chest, twist all the way over to the left with your legs. And just keep looking up with your head and your vision. Then change sides. And then gracefully just let go for deep relaxation. We'll just be here for a couple moments. Slowly start coming back to your body. Reach your arm over your head. Stretch all the way out. Mm. Bring your knees to your chest and just turn to one side into fetal position. And whenever you're ready, just come sitting all the way up. Preferably with your legs crossed. For a little bit of breath work to close out the practice. And we're gonna do uh, the breath of fire is panting like a dog. You can do it with your mouth open. Equal inhalation, equal exhalation. 
pumping with your, from your navel. So put your hands on the navel and feel that pumping. Have your palms up. And just try to close your eyes and close your mouth and in and out of your nose. And if you get tired, you can pant in and out of the mouth. Take a deep breath in, hold your breath, squeeze your body really tight, stretch your arms overhead, and then relax. Good, and uh, welcome back. And hopefully you liked today's yoga workout and breathwork meditation. And if you really liked it, join the Limitless Strength Movement. Click the box below, the green box below. There's no credit card needed. You get one complimentary month and you get weekly yoga, yoga workouts and breathwork meditation workshops like today. Email the text it to you so you can do it in the comfort of your own home or even your office. And you see it only takes like 20, 25 minutes max and you don't need any equipment, but you get a total body workout and you get also a deep relaxation, breathwork and meditation. So uh, if you like it, just do it. No obligations, no commitment, no credit card needed. Just sign below for be, to be a part of the Limitless Strength Movement. And hopefully everyone will go out there and just have a beautiful day or rest of your day and have a beautiful rest of 2023. I will see y'all in 2024. And if please just sign up. Sign up for the Limitless Strength Movement. It's gonna change your life. I guarantee you that. Uh, there's no commitment, there's no credit card needed. And uh, that's it for today. I wish y'all the best, best new year upcoming. And uh, as always, be limitless. Peace.